What's up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over the installation of Python as well as the installation of Atom Text Editor. In my opinion, Atom Text Editor is the best text editor out there and I highly recommend you use it. Later on in this tutorial I'm going to be going over variables. If you have any programming knowledge prior to this, then you are most welcome to skip it. It will be towards the end of the tutorial. The distributor that we're going to be using for Python in this tutorial is Anaconda. So let's head over to our browser and download that quick. Great, open your browser, type in Anaconda Python. Download, select your operating system and download Python 3.7. Great, once that's downloaded, open it up. Next, I agree. Next, next, next. Okay, this might take a while. I'm going to skip it for your convenience. There we go. Next. Yeah. Uncheck both those boxes. Next. Great. Now open Anaconda Prompt. What we're doing here is we're going to find the path of Python by typing where Python. You must do this if you do not know the path yourself. You can also do this for Conda by typing where Conda. Now over in your command prompt, we're going to set the path for Python so that a text editor that you use on your computer knows where to load Python when it runs Python scripts. We're going to do this by set x path the first path that we're going to pass in is conda. Note that when you, if you copy and paste the conda path from the anaconda prompt, note that you mustn't copy and paste the whole path. You must, you must leave out the last word. So you just put in the path of the folder of conda.exe. So it should end with scripts. Yeah. Semicolon. The next path that we're going to pass in is the Python paths. Path. Note also that we don't. We're not going to copy and paste the full path. We. We just going to. Leave out the last. Word. So the folder that contains Python which is the Anaconda folder, like so. Close it off and then press enter. You should come up with this, but you, what you must do, you must test to see if Python is on there by typing in Python, and it should come up with this if it was correctly done. Okay, great, seems like it's working. Now that we've got Python installed, let's install Atom Text Editor so we can run Python scripts. Open your web browser, type in Atom Download. Great, click Download. Cool. Once it's downloaded, open up Atom. It should come up with a page similar to this. Just close all the tabs. And then select File, Settings. So before we can run Python scripts, we need a terminal 
to run them in. We're going to be using Platformio Terminal. Let's install that. Great, once that's installed, go click on settings, scroll down until you see shell override and replace that with cmd.exe, like so. Great, now we can run Python scripts. Create your first Python file by clicking file and then new file. We need to save it though, so save it in a folder that you either created or that you're going to create now, like me. Name it whatever. Open it up. Make sure that whatever you call your file, that it doesn't have any spaces and that it ends in .py. That's important, as if it doesn't, it won't run. So let's just run some basic Python code. Print hello world. And now you open up your terminal by pressing the plus sign at the bottom left. Great. To run the Python script, you type Python, then the name of the script. In this case, it's test.py. Great, it works. Okay, we can close that. Now let's look at some variables. So variable is like a storage box. It makes it easier for programmers to access different information in their program. program. It also saves a lot of time. Let's say you've got a variable call of string that's called hello world. Instead of calling hello world over and over, you can just store the variable as x, which is much shorter and much convenient. Types of variables. So we have integers, which is basic, just numbers its whole numbers negative or positive boolean either true or false string is just any group of characters together float uh, it's a decimal number so not a whole number like an integer a char is basically any uppercase or lowercase letter So I hope you found that tutorial useful. If you're new to Python, then make sure you subscribe as I'll be posting Python tutorials on a daily basis. Thank you. Cheers.